Hello and welcome to another edition of Word, Worship and Prayer. I'm Tupsi Oyene and today we'll be doing something very interesting. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 and I read, it says, Speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We will read a few scriptures, but we will focus mainly on the wordings of the popular hymn, In Christ Alone. Let us go into the word of God together. Today's word of admonition is titled, Faith That Speaks. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, Yet we have the same spirit of faith as he had, who wrote in scriptures, I believed, therefore I spoke. We also believe, therefore we speak. I love the way the message translation puts it. It says, We're not keeping this quiet, not on your life. Just like the psalmist wrote, I believed it, so I said it. We say what we believe. We say what we believe. And my question to you today is, what are you saying? Do you believe in God? Do you have faith in God? Before we continue, let's quickly check what it means to have faith. What does it mean to have the God kind of faith? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the assurance, the deed, the confirmation of things hoped for. That is the things that have been divinely granted. And the evidence of things not seen. That is the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as facts what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Isn't that wonderful? There are some key things that God is saying to us in this verse of scripture. One of the things that strikes me is the word assurance. It says the title deed, the confirmation. Imagine you are given the title deed of a property. You can take that to the bank because you know that the document you have in your hand says expressly that it belongs to you because you have your name on it. So faith is that title deed. It is that confirmation of the things that we hoped for, the things that have been divinely granted unto us. So going back to the topic, the faith that speaks, my question is, do you have faith in God? If you do, then what are you saying? What are you saying to that situation? What are you saying to that problem? What are you saying to your life? What are you saying to your destiny? A lot of times we go into the place of prayer, we pray. But the moment we step out, we start saying things that are completely contrary to the things that we have said in the place of prayer. And the question is, what exactly is your position? Is it faith or is it faith? Is it belief or is it doubt? Let your faith speak. And in encouraging us to do that, we'll be looking through the lyrics of that popular hymn, In Christ Alone. Verse 1 says, In Christ alone my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depth of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ, I stand. Isn't that a beautiful thing to say to yourself? To affirm to yourself that in Christ alone, my hope is found. In Christ alone, I trust. In Christ alone, I rest. I do not rest on the arms of flesh. I do not rest on my own wisdom, but I rest in the wisdom and in the strength of Christ. He says, this cornerstone, this solid ground. Yes, having faith in God is a solid ground that we stand on. 
I remember some years ago, I was praying and I was telling God, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why hasn't this happened? Why hasn't that happened? And I got into that self-righteous mode with the Holy Spirit that day to say, God, I've tried my best to ensure that I don't sin, to ensure that I don't touch that which doesn't belong to me, and so on and so forth. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying clearly to me, shut your mouth. Every other ground is sinking sand. That ground of, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. They are all sinking sand. The only ground that you can stand on and you can be sure that nothing can defeat you is the ground of the blood of Jesus. And that statement set me free that day. To know that it is not by power, it is not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. And so today, I encourage you, let your ground for confidence be the ground of the Word of God. Let it be the ground of the blood of Jesus. Let us go into verse 2 of the hymn, In Christ Alone. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the one he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I live. This verse buttresses what I said earlier. Your ground for standing blameless before God is not by your own righteousness. is on the basis of what Jesus did. is on the basis of the victory he purchased for you and for me at the cross of Calvary. And so when you go into the presence of God, let your confidence be in the things that Jesus did for you and not in your own power. Or in your own might. Verse 3 says, There in the ground is bodily, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again. And as he stands in victory, sin's curse has lost its grip on me. For I am his and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This tells us that no matter what you may be going through, there's someone that went through a worse situation. I don't think what anybody is going through can ever be compared to what Jesus went through. He was sinless. He was blameless. Yet he hung on that cross and took your blame. He took your shame. He took my blame. He took my shame. And now, we stand victorious because Jesus died and because he's alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Verse 4 is my favorite. And the reason is my favorite is that it shows me what has happened. It shows me where I am and it shows me where I'm going. It says, no guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. From life's first cry, from the moment I touch the face of this earth, to my final breath <laughs> till he returns or till he calls me home here in the power of christ i'll stand what is that situation facing you what is that challenge facing you say to them you came too late you came too late because jesus already purchased my victory say to that challenge you have no hold on me why because jesus already purchased my victory and because i believe 
I speak. Because I believe, I speak. Because I believe, I speak of the goodness of the Lord. I speak of the victory of the Lord. I speak of the hope that I have in him. Saints, let no circumstance or situation hold you down. Let no one tell you you can't make it. Let no environment dictate how you live. Let the life of Jesus flow in you. Let that confidence that is in Christ alone, let that confidence that is based on the finished work of Christ be what speaks through you. Child of God, you are victorious. You are an overcomer. You are blessed and you are highly favored. Speak this to yourself. Pick up scriptures. Pick up the word of God and read them to yourself. As you read, those words will be mixed with faith in your heart because the Holy Spirit will brood on them. Grace will be released. Hope will be released. Life will be released. Confidence will be released. Let your faith speak right there where you are. I just want us to take a few moments to just make those declarations. From Psalm 23, the Amplified Version. As I read, if you can, just say this along with me. The Lord is my shepherd, the one to feed, to guide, and to shield me. I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. Yes. He leads me beside the still and the quiet waters. He refreshes and restores my soul. He refreshes and restores my life. He leads me in the path of righteousness, meaning I know what to do. I live in righteousness. I move in righteousness and I honor God with my life. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk, even though I walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, I say to yourself, I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide. They comfort and console me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy, unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord. As you have said in his ears, be it unto you, the child of God. Let hope rise up in you, child of God. Let faith rise up within you, child of God. And let that faith speak. Let it speak joy. Let it speak hope. Let it speak confidence. Let it speak deliverance. Let it speak and let it confirm to you that you belong to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that you have brought to us again. We thank you because you are a good God. We ask that you will help every unbelief in our heart. You will cause your faith, your kind of faith, to rise up within us so that we can face that situation and face that challenge and tell them, Jesus already overcame and so I am an overcomer. Thank you for your son and for your daughter that is watching. Whatever they may be going through, Father, I pray for them that by the help of the Holy Spirit, they will look into your word and as they look into your word, faith will rise up. And that faith will cause them to speak. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us again for another edition of Word, Worship and Prayer. I have been blessed and I know you too, you have been blessed. 
Send us your testimonies to show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. If you have joined us today and you've not given your life to Jesus Christ, wow, I don't want you to miss out on everything that we've been saying. Pray this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I know that I need a savior. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and be my savior. Take over the administration of my life and help me to live my life in honor and praise of your holy name. I ask that you will cause your kind of faith to well up within me. And as it wells up, help me to speak your word and to declare your will over my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. In your holy name, I have prayed. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, congratulations and welcome into the kingdom of God. In this kingdom, our God delights and rejoices over us. Send us an email or leave a comment. We will get in touch with you and we will recommend you to a Bible-believing church near you so that you can grow your faith in Jesus Christ. It's been an amazing time sharing the word today as we've spoken to ourselves in Him, in Christ alone. My hope is found. Worship with it. And let the name of the Lord be glorified always in your life. Till I come your way again, I'm Dupsi Oyene. Stay blessed and stay connected. Bye for now. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Till on that cross, as Jesus died.